Greetings, Dr. Lucas J. Bader here, and today we're gonna to talk about boron. Boron is an outstanding mineral to promote bone, muscle, and joint health. In biologic systems, a unique attribute of boron is its bond to oxygen. This bond's not too strong, it's not too weak, it's the optimal amount. This has significant physiologic implications. Boron is able to interact with many important substances and molecules. For instance, sex hormones. An example of a sex hormone would be testosterone or estrogen. Imagine, if you will, that you're a woman in her late 40s, early 50s, about to enter menopause or in the thick of menopause. Your estrogen levels precipitously drop. Now, estrogen is a potent promoter of bone health. It increases bone strength and bone density. Some research suggests that boron positively interacts with estrogen to impede or thwart processes that break estrogen down. In essence, boosting, enhancing your uh, natural estrogen levels and promoting bone health. Similarly, for men, as we age, our testosterone levels take a nosedive and testosterone is critically important for new muscle growth, muscle maintenance, and muscle repair. Science also suggests that boron interacts with testosterone and helps limit the processes that prematurely break down testosterone. Thus, boosting, enhancing your testosterone levels. But boron's not done yet. Science also suggests that boron positively impacts the effectiveness of vitamin D, calcium, and magnesium in promoting proper mineralization of bone and of joint. Boron's still not done. Boron also acts as an anti-inflammatory agent and a direct antioxidizing agent. Now, in many unhealthy states of bone, muscle, joint, and tendon, oxidative stress and inflammation are driving forces accelerating the deterioration. Boron potentially can help contain these processes and promote health. So what does the data say? Both population studies, looking at populations of people who have high boron intake, and interventional studies where an experiment is performed where one group gets a lot of boron and the other group doesn't get much boron, have supported the use of boron to promote bone and joint health. A very interesting, fascinating study, a population study, looked at people who live in high boron consumption areas, such as Turkey or Uzbekistan, and low boron uh, intake areas, such as the US, Western Europe, uh, Great Britain, so forth. Now, to be considered high intake, you gotta be around six milligrams per day. To give you some perspective, in the US, we're about 1.2 milligrams per day. There was a staggering observation. If you live in a high, an area of high boron consumption, your likelihood of getting osteoarthritis was reduced 70%. So osteoarthritis is premature aging, deterioration of joint. 70%, that's phenomenal. So truly, we should try to target that level and try to incorporate and implement boron into our, our daily nutritional strategies. So what are some excellent sources of boron? Food categories to consider. Dry fruits, nuts, and legumes. Examples would be raisins, prunes, dates, almonds, peanuts, lentils, black beans, kidney beans. Definitely a variety that you can choose from. Truth be told, because we live in the United States and the local soil conditions and water conditions don't promote naturally a high level of boron, consideration of supplementation to hit that six milligram target might make sense. But with any form of supplementation, be sure to consult a physician or qualified health professional that's very familiar with your medical history to make sure it makes sense for you.